Hello you guys and welcome back to the review for the Inkless Peptide Moisturizer. This is a 1.7 ounces, 50 milliliters, $14.99. You can buy this one at Sephora or you can buy this at the Inkless. However, uh, when I researched this product at the Inkless website, it was out of, out of uh, stock. So I had to wait to get it through Sephora. And once I got my hands into the Sephora one, I ended up purchasing it. So let's talk about the Inkless Moisturizer. Previously, we've discussed how I felt about the Collagen Booster, which is, I thought in a way it was, and excuse the noises in the background, it's just my cat for today. And um, so unfortunately for the Glow uh, co Collagen Serum, it was in the best, in my opinion. However, when it came to this one, um, I was very impressed for not only the packaging, but what came in on the back of it. So if you can tell right here, it comes with uh, like little circles that they have. It comes with a cleaning, it, you either cleanse, hydrate, treat, or moisturize, and then the SPF, whatever it is. So this one has a moisturize. So that's what it, it is for, just to make sure that everyone is aware. And it says here that it's for day and night, and it says use AM and PM on cleansed skin, apply a pea-sized amount to the face and neck. Apply after preferred serums, use a hyaluronic acid first to help draw in all of the peptide goodness. Once it is open, it's only good for six months. So this is the, I think this will be the shortest amount of time where I have purchased um, you know, an item or a moisturizer that has like a short lifespan. So just be careful with that. So if you're planning to open this one and then jumping into other products, maybe you want to have this in consideration before opening it up. So the pump, we've seen this pump before. Uh, of course, we're going to open it for the first time. And this is what it looks like. I have used this for two weeks and uh, there's a lot of product inside of it. What do you think about? So this is what it looks like. You definitely have that uh, ability. If you don't like the pump, you can actually open it up. I like and prefer to have it like this. So it, the product doesn't have a lot of air or it doesn't oxidize the product right away. Uh, what I noticed when applying this product on my skin is when I apply it by itself after like a regular vitamin C or uh, any other type of serum, it would just feel comfortable. It wouldn't feel anything different when it comes to the texture. Now, when I applied this product on top of something that had more of a hyaluronic base, it definitely glided on my skin. It was very supple. Uh, it was very hydrated, rich. It didn't feel anything heavy on my skin. So I I did notice online that a lot of people talk about this product, how it can be compared to the Drunk Elephant Moisturizer, the one with the green lid, which I'm currently starting um, jumping into it, you know, little by little. However, I don't think there is a huge difference between both of them. Possibly could be the ingredient wise, but that's when I feel like it just glides smoother and uh, it gives me that richness that I need without feeling heavy. Um, the product that I usually use before the, using this one, it was this Primera Hydration uh, Base. And this is uh, made of Alpine Berries. And it is basically hyaluronic acid. I'm going to show you right here. I would, just, I would just apply it and it would feel so comfortable and so smooth. Now this is my personal point of view and now in consider taking into consideration that I'm more normal to dry. Now Domel, how do you like this product? I liked it. It was good. It was hydrating. I just didn't really notice anything fabulous and overly special about it. No. It was cool. It's it's an okay moisturizer. And for being $14.99, I think it's a little it's a bit great price. It is a great price. And you know, the last product, the last moisturizer that I, that I made uh, on uh, review, it was the Olay, and that was feeling a little bit like, eh, could have been better. This one definitely was an upgrade, and had been, it sold at Sephora in a way, I think, when I think about this product, I feel like it's more of a drugstore brand. However, because it sold at Sephora, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like debating whether it's an upper brand or something like that, but it's definitely something different from the ordinary, even though I haven't indulged my skin onto those products, but this one feels okay. Is it amazing? No, it isn't, but it does feel very rich when it comes to the moisturizer because it has those peptides that are gonna, you know, make sure that the hydration and everything that you apply on just uh, soaks into your skin. Now, it has two different active ingredients. The first one is a Royal Epigen P5, which min helps you minimize the size of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles. So with that being said, this is not only a 
regular hydrating moisturizer, but it also is a anti-aging product. And it also has a hydrating peptide solution, which of course uh, create a very strong skin barrier. So if you suffer for uh, dehydrated or just dry or have a compromised, very dry skin, you definitely are gonna get a lot of benefits out of this product. Uh, the very first four ingredients, we have water, which is exactly for hydration. Then we have the caprylic triglyceride, which is to help smooth the skin. And it's gonna give you that softening that I was talking to you before. And then it also works as an antioxidant. Now, when it comes to the third ingredient, it has the alkyl bensonate skin, which is also great for uh, support the moisture barrier and makes it it's stronger with the continuous use. I did notice that this product specifically has a lot of uh, exfoliant uh, alcohols as well as a lot of alcohols that are gonna help build the moisturizer to be a very smooth and silky consistency. But overall, I didn't see anything amazing or over the top. I think it's just like an okay moisturizer. So if you like the Inky List, I would say this will be a product that I would finish up. And if I didn't have anything else in mind, I would definitely repurchase this product just because I feel like it's an, it's an okay, good moisturizer with an anti-aging. Now, keep in mind, it doesn't have any SPF, so you have to add that. Now, with my regular skincare routine, like I said before, I would apply the Primera Hyaluronic uh, Alpine Berry Cream, Water Cream, and then I would put this one on top and it would definitely feel like, almost like in a butter, like um, baby's bottom uh, kind of feeling. Uh, very soft, very smooth, very silky. If I needed to have extra hydration and just make sure that I would lock in all of the products that I had on my skin, I would definitely add the LMS Superfood Facial Oil and it would feel more nourishing, more a little bit more oilier. And this is more of an oilier oil uh, as far different from being a more drier oil. So if you're looking to have that kind of a feeling, it's definitely a good add on top of your skin. This is what it looks like. Has that natural herbal scent to it. But overall, I would say this is an approved for me. What do you think, Amel? You said it was an okay, right, for you? Yeah, I think it's okay. And I honestly think for the price and like the benefits, it's really good. Like there's moisturizers out there that claim to do similar things and they're 90 bucks, 60 bucks out in the streets. And this for like what you said, 14? Yeah, this is 14.99. And like I said, a lot of people do think and believe that this is a dupe out of the Trunk Elephant Moisturizer. I still don't see the difference because I was applying half of my face with this product and half of the, my face with the other product. I just don't think it, they are very similar, maybe comparable in the texture a little bit, but overall the ingredient wise is a little bit different. So I can't really compare them to be like, oh my gosh, this does the same thing. It doesn't. Um, I feel like because both of them have the word peptides in it and the packaging is very, very similar. Yeah. People like to go and be like, oh my God, it's the same. I but agree. I mean, at the end of the day, we can appreciate this product for what it is and what it provides and its price point. And then we can also appreciate the drunk elephant for yes. what it is and what it provides. Exactly. With that being said, you guys, I hope you guys make up your own mind and think... Uh, tell me what you guys think about the Inculus Peptide Moisturizer. If you guys have tried this product, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys are thinking of buying this product, also let me know how you guys feel. If this product worked for your skin, what type of skin you have, and what moisturizer you currently have. What would be your skincare routine right now? I would appreciate you guys. And make sure you subscribe to the channel to support us. Make sure you leave us a comment down below. And also hit the like button to stay notified as well. And I'll see you guys soon.